right, good day once more, good people. Today, I would like us to look at uh, the disconnections of aryl ketones, right? So, aryl ketones, aryl, then it means that you've got a phenyl ring there, right? Now, like, let us consider this retrosynthesis. If this is our target molecule, right? You've got a benzene ring, you've got this group here, you've got this group here. So, whenever you have a target molecule, so what you need to do, you need to identify your compound. What do I mean by identifying your compound, right? That is, you look at the functional groups of what? Of your target molecule. You look at all the characteristics that your molecule has, that your compound has. For example, if I look at this compound here, I can see that I've got what? A benzene ring. There is my benzene ring. Then this benzene ring, right, is attached, is bonded to what? To a methoxy group, this side, and bonded to a keto group, the other side. So you've got two groups there now. So remember now, like, whenever we are dealing, right, with what? With um, aromatic, what call like compounds. So, we must go back to our elementary chemistry, right? At first year or second year level. You see? Then we must bring that knowledge for application here now. You see? That's what disconnections, what call like warrant, like so to speak. So if we go back to our chemistry, we know that now like with benzene chemistry, right? We've got groups there that we categorize as activating groups versus deactivating groups. So what type of groups do I have here? A methoxy group and a keto group. A methoxy group is an example of what? Of an activating group. Right? My elementary chemist will tell me that. It's an example of a what? Of an activating group. Activating groups, when it comes to aromatic chemistry, benzene chemistry, direct what? The auto position and the what? And the para position, right? That's very important. So if, if you've got a benzene ring and this benzene ring is substituted to what? I mean, like uh, a methoxy, what called a like group is substituted in the benzene ring, that methoxy group will direct whatever that's going to come into the ring to the auto position or the para position. That's very important. What about deactivated groups? Deactivated groups, for example, a keto group is an example of a deactivating group, right? A deactivating group directs matter. So if you've got a benzene ring and then this benzene ring, right, has got a, what called like a keto group, right? Now, like, whatever that will come into that ring now, it will be directed towards the what? The meta position. That's very, very important. Now, in a case like this now, how do we know which one was in there first? Was it the metho methoxy group? Was it the keto group? Right? Now you use logic now. Right? Logic. What does logic tell you? Right? I mean, we just indicated that now like the methoxy group, once it is in the ring, as the first one, not, then it's going to direct ortho and para. Ortho or para. Are you with me? Now, the keto group itself, it directs what? Matter. So automatically here, you can tell that now, like, it means that now, like, the methoxy group was in there, right? And then it's the one that directed this other group, which was the incoming group, to this position, right? Otherwise, if we had a keto group here first, then the methoxy group wouldn't where it is. It would be... Like in the what called like in the meta position, for example. So we apply logic there. So once we apply that logic, the next step then now like it's to initiate our what? Our disconnection at the side that came in later. So in this case now, like methoxy was inside the ring first, than the keto group. Then we will initiate our disconnection at the keto side. 
So it means that now, like by logic, so this, right? Then this now, like we have to break the molecule here. Imaginary break the the the, the, the what do you call it the, the the molecule here. When we break that now, like this gives us now like a, what do you call it, like a positive charge on this carbon atom, right? Then this now, like it takes us now, like applying our chemistry to an acyl group. So we had this positive charge here. Then obviously there was something that was negative. A negative here it could be anything that is in group seven. Be it fluorine, be it chlorine, be it, be it bromine, be it iodine, etc. In that group, then we get this acyl group. Acyl, what call like a, a chloride in this case, right? So automatically now like. Any acyl group that's going to, to, to react with the benzene ring, right? Then that reminds us of a reaction which is known as the what? As the Friedel Kass acylation reaction. So it means that you now, like, this reaction is a reverse, what you call what? Friedel Kass acylation, right? So you now, like, that's what we mean now, like, by what? By retrosynthesis, breaking this going backwards. Right? Then it gives us now like what? Friedel Kass isolation. I will stop for now. And then in the next class now like we will go to the synthesis. Right? Thank you.